Yo, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Elder, and you already know how we get down, baby. If this is your first time tuning in, I welcome you with love, hugs, and kisses. Mwah. But in order for you to be my cousin, right, right, I need you to hit the subscribe button, right, right. I need you to turn on your post notifications, right, right. Then I need you to light up the comment section with hashtag DieCousinGang, and you'll officially be my cousin. And you feel what I'm saying, baby? Those of you that's been rocking with your girl, what's up, cousin? What's up, fummy? Come on, new year, shit, no. You already know how we get down. We be like, welcome back, back, hey, back, back, welcome back. Bay. Hey, so you guys, where have I been? What I have been doing? We got a cuzzle. I gotta get you caught up. So, quick announcement, quick public service announcement. We are moving closet confessions to couch conversations, okay? Because you know your girl is a little bit on the big side you know what i'm saying um so yeah um yeah we we're we gonna be sitting on the couch with these um couch conversations and couch confessions and you know what i'm saying um because yeah i'm a big girl and sitting on the floor too long don't help But let's go ahead, let's get to the couch so that we can have a conversation on where I've been. So, we'll be right back. All right, you guys, welcome to Couch Conversations slash Confessions. And we just going to talk cuzzles because I know I've been M-I-A, M to the I to the A, like for real, for real. And I know y'all probably tired of me saying, you know, I'm going to be consistent. And, you know, so first and foremost, I did change the schedule because I was posting Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. But now I'll be posting Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. OK, so um, I had to come away for a second because not only was I de dealing with depression, but I was also in the process of healing, um, you know, dealing with myself because even though I do live a transparent, um, I, I try to be as transparent as possible, especially as a believer or minister of the gospel. Um, there's just some, sometimes, you know, you just got to deal with things privately. And of course, then I had some um, series of events that has happened if you follow me on social media then you know one of them which I will be um, going into depths more not this video though not this video though but um, next video so yeah so there's a lot of transitioning a lot of shifting and a lot of things happening very quickly it was happening very quickly so but in the midst of it all i am in the process of regaining focus regaining momentum and this time around not losing it um especially you know what you know how it is when you when you check out okay we gonna go ahead and sip on our berry punch all right that's don't judge me because i'm drinking out of a wine cup all right judge your big toe all right judge your big toe but um But um, when you when you go through um, something that has been very impactful on you mentally, emotionally, spiritually, even and of course it'll take a toll on you physically. When it's time for you to regain that focus or get back into momentum, it is a fight. It is a fight. But um, today's service. Um, my apostle was breaking down Rosh Hashanah and basically how we have 10 days um, of repentance, 10 days to get our house in order, um, 10 days of debt cancellation. Like if somebody owe you money or you owe somebody money, um, you or that person need to release um, whoever owe you money or whoever you owe money to, they need to release you. Whoever you're harboring in your heart, you have to uh, let them go 
um, you know, so that you'll be able to move forward. And y'all, let me tell you, <laughs> the people that owe me money, I was just like, Lord, you know, I trust you, Lord. So I had to, um, of course, release some people. I'm very understanding, so it wasn't no pressure. But I think the hardest um, thing for me in service today was when it came time to forgive. Um, and I was explaining to my sister the other day is when you love somebody, it is so easy for you to forgive. Um, because I mean, look at, look at God with us, you know, as soon as we repent, as soon as we ask for forgiveness, you know, he ain't throwing nothing back in our face. He's not throwing us no guilt or anything like that. He just embraced us with open arms, especially if you're a worshiper, you know what I mean. So, but today, um, I really had to dig deep. I had to forgive, um, some people who I might not even ever get an apology from, but you know, it's okay. Um, it's all right. So I had to let them go. But the biggest person, the biggest, the biggest one for me was when it was time for me to forgive myself. Um, it was, it was, it was hard. Like it was hard because it's like, you know, you, you make a vow to yourself that you won't do this or you won't do that. And then you find yourself doing it or indulging in it or, you know, just going through it. But I don't regret anything. I don't regret anything because it's a process. Anything you go through in life is a process, a series of steps to, to reach an expected end. So everything that I have been through, everything that I have allowed or put my guards down or whatever the case might be, it all equipped me for what is to come up ahead, baby, let me tell you. So, with that being said, I was able to forgive myself today. And of course, God being who he is, um, he definitely, you know, spoke through that vessel. And once again, thank you for being obedient and know that you hear from God, sis. You hear from God. But the Lord began to speak through her and, you know, definitely confirmed some things for me and also gave me um, strategy. So now, you guys, we are in the process of regaining focus. So at this point, I had to, you know, let hubby know. Um, tunnel vision, and anybody that knows me knows, once I go into tunnel vision, get out my way. Get out my way, get out my way, get out my way. But how am I able to do this? I'm able to do this because there's a place I don't want to go back to mentally emotionally spiritually physically financially there's a place i do not want to go back to all right so when you don't want to go back to that place you're going to do what you need to do so that you don't go back so that you don't fall deeper so that you can advance and when there is a lifestyle that you desire to live because <laughs> y'all know me i'm humble and bougie baby i'm humble and bougie so with that being said, I definitely have to put in the work because at the end of the day, when you go to the bank and you try to withdraw $500 and you know you only got $50 in that day, listen, that teller is going to tell you that there is insufficient funds to process the transaction that you are wanting to process. Whether you talk to a teller or whether you talk to the ATM, because guess what? When you try to withdraw over what you have, there is a penalty, okay? There's a thing called overdraft fees all right so with that being said whatever it is that you desire to do whatever it is that you desire to do um you got to put in the work you have to be willing to put in the work whether it's spiritually physically mentally you have to put in the work we cannot expect things to just fall in our laps we cannot continue to walk around here entitled or feel entitled and we cannot walk around here acting as if somebody owe us because at the end of the day nobody don't owe you nothing they don't owe you nothing but to love you all right so with that being said you want to go get it you want to build the momentum you want to get focused so you have to pinpoint what it is that is keeping you from being focused you have to call out that distraction so that you're able to move forward so yeah with that being said y'all we are regaining focus um and we're gonna come back harder than ever harder than ever you hear me more transparent than ever um 
and yeah you guys have a lot a lot a lot a lot to look forward to um once i come into once me and hubby come into agreement with some things there definitely will be some story time <laughs> There'll definitely be some story times and I just pray that my testimony and my lifestyle will continue to encourage you, continue to provoke you, to level up, will continue um, to provoke you to, to move forward, let go and, and just be you, just unapologetically be you, be you. Cause listen, cause oh, I love you for who you are, baby. I love you for who you are. Because you my baby. You my shrilly. I love you, baby. I love you, my shrilly, okay? Please, don't let nobody, don't let nobody stop you, okay? Because you, my friend, you, you can do it, okay? You can do it. Don't let nobody stop you. I'm here to tell you, Kozo. Kozo, you can do it, baby. Okay, my cousin? You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. It be that sad. It be that sad. But with that being said, I love y'all. Be blessed. Be encouraged. And remember, don't forget to thumbs up. First of all, go ahead and thumbs up because I know you were encouraged one way or another. All right? I know you were encouraged. So go ahead. Thumbs up. All right? If you ain't hit that subscribe button, pop him Kalo. Okay? Pop him Kalo. Stop playing with yourself. Like, for real. Stop playing with yourself. But be blessed, be encouraged, and remember, you, you, you have victory on every side. Yeah.